You guys, how are you? Uncle Steph here. So college degrees are losing more and more of their clout, especially in the IT sector. This is something I've been talking about for years, really. And I say constantly, if you have to go into student loan debt, so I'm speaking about people in North America, perhaps more than anywhere else in the world, because education is expensive here. If you have to go into student loan debt, and uh, number one, if you're not sure what it is you want to do, don't do it at college. Don't start exploratory courses. Don't start checking around out there and doing all kinds of different things because uh, you want to see what's, what you might want to do. Don't do this if you're going into debt because this is, a, this is not a good thing. The last thing you want to do in this life is, uh, is go into student loan debt. So if you just look on the web and you start doing a little bit of research, you'll find that what I've been saying for years is becoming more and more prevalent. It's becoming more uh, pronounced where college degrees are losing much of their credibility. So one of many studies, so here's one from intelligent.com and they, they did a survey of HR managers and they found about 50%, 53% of hiring managers said their company eliminated the requirement for a bachelor's degrees for some roles in the past year. So this is across the board. Now in IT and programming, it's far greater than that. Again, 53% across the board of hiring managers have said, we don't really care if you have a degree or not. So let me go on. Uh, in the same study, the vast majority of companies now test candidates in the interview process. And 66% say they have candidates take an assessment to test hard skills. 64% say they have applicants complete test assignments. So which professions are more likely to value experience over education? Number one is IT, which we know a college degree in computer science really doesn't give those even in the upper echelons in those organizations what they need to successfully be in those positions. They realize people are hiring developers and IT professionals. They realize that the colleges are simply not equipping them with the required skill sets. So they're starting to say, well, what, what's the value of these college degrees? Now, when I hire people, I would put maybe a 2% weighting on college degrees. So they come to me and they say, yeah, yeah, I have a degree in this. And I go, okay, that's good. That's good. It shows that you can be disciplined and so forth. But what can you do? What can you do? Again, from this piece, more studies have shown a growing acceptance of professional certifications, associate degrees, and boot camps as a testament to education and skill. Uh, though Intelligent.com's survey diverged somewhat from that with just 24% of hiring managers saying their company sees values in certificate programs. Again, something I've been saying, in, uh, even though I do provide certification services, I work with many schools, I, they wanted to certify their students in coding, so we provided, we built and created a certification program and certifications in five languages. That said, and I always say in full transparency, certifications are worth this much versus experience this much. And the surveys are showing this to be the case. The great thing about software development is that the rubber meets the road very quickly. What does that mean? That means that uh, your skill as a developer, as a tech professional, the results of that skill is very, very apparent right away. Software works or it doesn't work. So as such, uh, certificates and diplomas, all this stuff go out the window because people have realized, as they cited in this one particular article, that just because somebody has went to college many a times, they're just not prepared for real world work. Final comment from this article, what companies are increasingly focused on is experience. With 76% of hiring managers surveyed, that's almost 80%, saying they favor real-world skills over education. Again, this aligns 100% with what I have been saying for years. That's why, and this is a self-promotion, I admit it, I have a mentoring program, a boot camp. We get people through the key fundamentals so they can build websites and basic web apps, and then we get them building real things. And then we get you out there doing some quick freelance work to build 
that much needed experience. That opens up all the doors for you. So if you're looking to get into the world of development, anything IT, the key point is to get experience as quickly as possible. You don't get into the game making the big money right away. You get your foot in the door as an entry level, and within the first year or two, you really up your, you really level up your skills doing real actual work, and, you, and then your value increases tremendously, and then you start making that big money. That's how it works. So whether you go through a program like my program, or you self-learn, or whatever you decide to do, remember the key thing is not the, the degree anymore. The key thing is the experience and the skills that you can demonstrate. It's all about hard skills today. The rubber's meeting the road. Academic certifications are losing their value because, frankly, they burnt their bridge, right? They burnt their bridge in that they churned out, as they cited in this article, churned out a lot of people out of college who are just simply not prepared to do the work. So now employers are going, well, where do we find good people? Ah, we find good people by looking at what they can do. We look at the track record. We look at the experience they have. So that's why, again, we have people get out there. The easiest way in IT to get experience is to start freelancing right away. You get your foot in the door, you start freelancing, you make your mistakes, you learn as a freelancer, and you will level up your game 100,000 times faster doing that than getting caught in tutorial hell or spending years and years in college.